Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and tonight's video is going to be how to do this, where it looks like the, the black and the gray are intertwined. I'm not going to say you'll ever draw this shape, but it can give you some ideas or some pointers on some other things. So grab your polygon tool and hold down your control button so it's kind of equal. Go up here and make it six-sided. Take your shape tool and lasso it all. Go right up here, convert to curves. Smooth node, bring in this node. It's gonna do them all equally. Let's bring this in closer. Then go up to arrange or go up to effects, contour, contour to the inside a quarter of an inch. We'll get rid of that, we don't need it anymore. make a duplicate of this well first of all let's yeah let's make a duplicate of it and I've got my nudge vector set on five inches then rotate this one do you kind of get it to look like that that looks pretty good now we're gonna color fill one of these get your smart fill tool and just well, let's go with black. So go on this particular one, you go three and skip one. One, two, three, skip. One, two, three, skip. So you're doing every other loop. Oh, I met I did I didn't skip. No, that's right. Yep. Nope. I messed up somewhere. Skip that one. There we go. Now we're halfway there. Now this is the way I'm going to do it. It may be not particularly the best way. Let's delete this one. But it'll teach you a new trick too that I've shown in another video. Go up to edit. and No, go to yeah, edit. Find and replace. Find, re, find and replace. Or just find object. Begin a new search. Yes. Go up to fills. Uniform fill. Next. We want to go to black, specify a new uniform fill. It's already black. Put OK, finish, find all, and then end your search. I've got my nudge factor set pretty high, so one, two, three. Now, take away, whoop, take away this one. We don't need any more. Turn, and I don't know why that's there. Turn all of this gray. Well, I did the wrong one. I needed to take away this one. Yes, that's why that's there. Now fill this in with gray. Then bring this back over five. One, two, three, or five inches at a time. Now you can see that the gray is still all the way across the top. So just grab the gray, go up to arrange, order, back of page. Now every other one is looped behind. Grab it all, put no, no outline. And that way you won't see these outlines. Now there's a couple ways to print this, and I think I'm going to show it in the next video. So stay tuned for the next video, and maybe it gives you some heads up. And like I said, I'm not going to say you'll ever make this shape, but it kind of gives you an idea on some other things. Hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.